Well, hello everyone, it's me Chanel here, and today I have a video for you on how to hang those drapery rods. As well, stay with me through the entire video. I have lots of information and something special thrown in there as well. So here is the picture hanging items that I use. Of course, you have to have a hammer, measuring tape, I use a drill. You could use a screwdriver, a regular manual screwdriver. This little thing, I'll show you in just a moment what you do with it. These are the anchors that I prefer to use. They heavy, heavy weight items, rods, and when you add your draperies, if they're heavy draperies. And these are the screws that you will screw inside of the anchors. And so here we go. I'm going to show you just how I install my drapery rods. This is the drapery part with that we're going to be using. I normally don't use the ones that come with the drapery rods, these anchors. They do not hold well. That is my experience with them. They do not hold well. They will end up pulling out of your wall. That's just my 10 cents. I'm going to call it $10. <laughs> so here are your brackets that comes with your drapery rod that you will use mm -hmm. and these are the brackets and your brackets should remember always hang at the end of where your rod will end right so your finial will end here at the end of your rod so our first measurement will start from the ceiling i don't have my ink pen that i told my assistant i needed so i wanted to use just a nail to make a score mark on the wall so I measure the distance from the top of the ceiling to where I want the drapery rod to land, which here I want it to land maybe eight inches to six inches above the top of the window sill, about six inches, which is right about here. So I'm just gonna score it right there in the wall. And then I'm gonna take my measuring tape measure from the top and I'm gonna apply that measurement from this side all the way to the opposite side and how wide I want the drapery rod to be open where the curtain will hang. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to 10 inches where I want it to start. Now, okay, so remember it's at the 1040 here on the wall. So what I normally do is take my drill and I go ahead and pre-drill a hole. Okay. And it's probably gonna be a stud here. It may be, it should be, because it is the end of the wall. So it may be a stud. Let's go ahead and try to drill in here a little bit more, see if it's actually a stud. Your anchor, which is this. And what you do is you fold it, you do the butterfly. You fold it, and this is how it will go inside of the wall. To put it inside the wall, you will use the yellow tool, which is this. And then once it's inside the wall, it looks like this. But you will put this inside, press in on it, and what it will do is cause this to push out and open inside of the wall. Therefore, it anchors your item well inside of the wall. And they come in different sizes and different pound digits. That's not a real word, but <laughs> it comes in different weights that you can use to hold a different, however much your item may weigh. Back to the butterfly. You've got a little hole drill here. Hold a little bit more. You can take your screw your nail and just wiggle it around just a little bit to open it just a little wider don't open it that wide to the exact width of that anchor because if you do the anchor will go inside the wall anchor again closed may not look like it's gonna go but it is you take your hammer Don't hold a hammer like I am. This is choking your hammer. This is totally wrong. You should hold your hammer down here. Very lightly tap it. Do not push it directly in hard. Not even 
going all the way. You see, it's not completely flush into the wall. You'll take the little pusher thing, I'm gonna call it a pusher. Not that kind of pusher, but yeah. <laughs> and you just lightly tap it. You'll feel it when it goes in. Do not tap hard. There it goes. It's in there. Put your screw inside of it. But first, you have to have your, have your bracket. This is where your bracket comes in. You'll take your bracket, put it up here exactly where you want it. of the room tour that I did the office makeover for my daughter and so I have a I am doing a giveaway yes I'm doing a giveaway so what you can do is down below in the description box is the video that you will have to go and watch what you're going to be looking for in that particular video is a word that I say in the video quite often in the video <laughs> So you're going to look for that word, listen for that word. Well, not look for it, but you're going to listen for that word. And you're going to count the number of times that I said the word in the video. You're not going to put it down in the comment section. If you do, it will ruin the whole giveaway for everyone else who may be trying to win. Who couldn't use right now a $25 gift card? Yes, a $25 gift card is what I'm going to be giving away to. That is for the previous video and it is going to be down in the description box. So go look for it. It'll be highlighted in blue letters. You'll watch that entire video. Listen for how many times I said a word in that video. Do not put it down in the comment section. What you will have to do is go over to my Instagram account. You're going to have to DM me over there. Direct, direct message me is what it's called dm direct message me and you're going to direct message me with your youtube handle and let me know how many times and what the word was that i spoke of in the video that way no one sees your answer and everyone can keep repeating the same answer in the comment section without seeing the video again please you guys ladies as well do not put it in the comment section if you put it in the comment section again it's going to ruin it for everyone and again who could not use a 25 dollars gift card buy whatever it is you want to buy you might want to buy some office supplies for your new office space or whatever it is some cleaning supplies whatever it is to enjoy yourself with the gift card so thank you for joining me and as well i want to give a big shout out also to some of my beautiful youtube sisters and this is not all of them but just a few of them who has come along with me through this entire youtube journey they have been there from the literally literally from the beginning and they have stuck by me as well and i am really really thankful for them and again it's not all of my youtube sisters i just wanted to highlight a few of them in this particular video and here we go i will feature them right now first i have miss cindy from create with cindy you will definitely enjoy cindy's channel cindy is a very quiet spirit very soft spoken but a beautiful decorator it's kimberly davis from diva designing on a dime you will enjoy her channel she has a variety of things she will bring you and especially her home decor scents and you will love her and her <laughs> she has a very polite laugh i enjoy her laugh and her conversation that she gives as well and the next one i have is decorating with Barbara. You will enjoy her channel as well. She brings you lots and lots again of decorating ideas anywhere from traditional 
It's a farmhouse and she loves to show you different stores and take you along with her on those shopping trips. She loves interior decorating as well. And you will enjoy all of these ladies' channels. And my other beautiful YouTube sister is Kira. And her channel is called Styled by Kira. You will enjoy Kira. Kira brings you a touch of glam with her decor. I hope you check them out. I will leave their information as well down below in the description box. And you all have a beautiful day. And don't forget, don't put that information in that comment section. Direct message me at Angelic Interior Designs over on Instagram. And I'll see, and I'll see you all for the next one.